How is it going everybody? You're watching the Naval Tech. So let's say you want to reset your iPhone but you can't because you forgot your Apple ID. Or maybe you want to download something from the App Store but again you forgot your Apple ID so you can't. You just forgot your iCloud email and password meaning that your Apple ID is forgotten. There's a ton of things you can't do because of that. Well in this video I'm going to show you an easy, a super easy way to reset your Apple ID, create a new password meaning that you're going to gain access to all of those things again and as I mentioned it is super easy you can do it using your iPhone or your iPad or you can do it using a computer so without further ado let's begin okay guys so as I mentioned you can reset your iCloud from your iPhone or your iPad and that's actually the easiest way to do it but as I said maybe you can't your iPhone is locked or something so uh, I will also show you how to reset your iCloud from a computer all right but since that's the easiest process I'm gonna start here on the iPhone okay so go to settings and then you're gonna go to your name right here at the top with your Apple ID information tap here and then you're gonna need to go to password and security all right that's the second option right there password and security wait a second and then as you guys can see the first option is to change password all right so I'm gonna tap here to change password that's the password of your Apple ID so that's your iCloud password that's what we want to do so change password and as you guys can see here, it's saying enter iPhone passcode. That's not the Apple ID password, passcode that you forgot. That's actually the passcode that you use to unlock your phone, the lock screen passcode. Okay, so it's saying that this iPhone can be used to change your password because you are signing to, uh, into iCloud and have a passcode enabled. So that means that you can just use your normal iPhone passcode to reset your iCloud. That's super cool. So just put your passcode your lock screen passcode yeah I know my passcode is very very big so hit done then wait a second I'm always gonna be cutting those parts because sometimes it takes a little bit of while to uh, to load so that's why I'm always cutting those screens as you can see it takes a few seconds and now just like that you get to the change password screen and then you can just create a new one and verify that's it so if you forgot your Apple ID password that's all you have to do just follow this process and then create a new one. And then from now on, this is going to be your new Apple ID pass password. That's it. Okay, so uh, now for the other part. Maybe, as I mentioned, your phone is locked, is inactive. Uh, you need to activate it so you can't access it. So you need to change your Apple ID some other way other than using your phone itself. How do you do that? Let's get the computer. Okay, so as you can imagine, if you have a Mac, it's going to be much easier, but don't worry because if you have just a Windows PC, we can do that as well. Okay, I'm, I'm going to show that later, all right? So, um, just get your Mac and open System Preferences, so your settings, and then you're going to go to Apple ID right here at the top. One thing that is important to keep in mind is that if you're seeing different menus here, and if you saw different menus on the iPhone as well, that means your iPhone or your computer are outdated. Okay, I'm using relatively updated versions of the operating systems. So if you're seeing different screens, don't worry. There is a method for uh, older devices as well or outdated devices as well. I'm going to have a link in the description. It's going to be the first link in the description. You can click there and you're going to go straight to Apple support website and you find the tutorial for older devices as well. Right. So don't worry. I got you covered as always. Okay, better now that is zoomed in. We can have a better look uh, and then we can tap on the same option as we tap on the iPhone so password and security so tap here and then it's gonna load again and then as you guys can see the menus are very very similar as we saw in iOS so we have the Apple ID and password all you have to do is tap change password same story and since this is a device that has been previously logged into this Apple ID it will actually allow us to change the password all you have to do is tap uh, is type the password to unlock the Mac okay so again same story the 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 local password to unlock on the lock screen of this Mac not the Apple ID because that one we don't know so just tap your normal Mac password and then hit allow and then same story is gonna ask us to create a new Apple ID password and verify it so there you have a change password so new password verify so as you can see if you're doing this on a Mac or on an iPhone all you have to do is know the lock screen passcode then the lock screen password of that device itself and with that you can change the Apple ID that is linked 
to all the other devices. So that's a very, very easy way that's super cool, super easy, and you can do it. But don't worry because I didn't forget about the PC users. So the Windows users, as I said, there's a process for everyone. So just open your browser, your preferred browser can be any one that you use. So Safari, Firefox, uh, you can use Chrome, whatever. And then go to I forgot dot apple dot com as you can see there i forgot dot apple dot com hit enter and then as you can see here uh, if you know your Apple ID, at least the email is going to be much easier. If you don't know anything, then it's going to be a little bit complicated, all right? But if you know your Apple ID uh, email, at least the email that you use, you just forgot the password, uh, then I got you covered as well as I mentioned. So just type your Apple ID email. And then as you guys can see, we're going to need to confirm your phone number. Uh, that will change depending on how you have your Apple ID set up. So if you don't have two-step verification, meaning that if you don't have a phone number linked to your Apple ID, so that's not my case, I do have two phone numbers linked to my Apple ID, then uh, at this point, you're going to actually have to answer security questions. So you answer security questions, hit continue, and then you're done. You can actually create a new Apple ID password, just like I showed you before on the other processes. If you actually do have second two-step verification, you're actually going to need to put uh, the phone number right here and then allow it on one of your devices, on the device that actually receives that SMS. Okay, so let's do that. And as you can see, I just got a message right here on my iPhone asking me if I want to reset uh, the password so allow or don't allow so then um, that's pretty much it all right as you guys can see uh, it is actually requiring me to allow on my other devices to actually do this to actually uh, change my password so then I'm gonna hit allow right there and then I'm gonna go proceed to the screen to actually uh, change my pa password as I showed you before uh, but maybe what what if you don't have access to any of your devices so is that the classic situation where I have a computer I have an iPhone and my iPhone is locked so how can I do that so you have to click here uh, on don't have access to any of my phones and then you have the, those two other options so you can reset your password while signing in on a new device or use someone else's iOS device and then you choose the best option for you keep in mind that all of those options right here that I'm showing are for the sec for two-step verification um, Apple IDs as I mentioned, if you don't have two-step verification uh, linked to your activated on your Apple ID, then you just answer the security, security questions and do it, okay? This is the most difficult way to do it because I have a lot of security features on my Apple ID, obviously. But then that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I got you through all the processes, all the ways, all the steps, everything you have to do to create a new Apple ID password. If you just forgot your Apple ID password, how to reset it. If for some way you still can't do it, I recommend contacting Apple support, all right? Check Apple support on your country, uh, the email, the phone number, or go to an Apple ID, to an Apple store, and then you're gonna have to do it uh, using a specialist, a genius, or something like that, okay? That's everything I can do for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful to you. If it was, please make sure to hit the comment section below telling me your experience with this video with this tutorial also hit the like button since you're down there and also hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so you're notified every time i post a new video so that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in a few days hopefully in my new studio bye bye